her wolf. That is what you might hear from another wolf trying to say, hello. Wolves use their howls and many other sounds as a kind of vocalization to communicate with each other, just like humans do. Oh! Their social behaviors and family roles are easy for many humans to identify with. However, wolves are very shy and timid around people and stick to their own packs whenever possible. Wolves are warm-blooded mammals that can be found all over the world. The two main species of wolves in the world include gray wolves, hello, <laughs> and red wolves. Wolves live for about eight to 12 years, and all wolves are carnivores, which means they eat meat. Their teeth are very sharp, which contributes to their abilities to be successful hunters. Ah, wolves have very thick coats, which consist of two layers, an outer layer of coarse fur, which helps keep them dry, and an inner layer of much softer fur that helps keep them warm on long journeys across ooh, cold landscapes. Wolves are very tough with amazing endurance. They typically travel an average of 50 square miles while looking for food. However, wolves who are tracking prey over long distances have been known to go 10 times that area, going so far and wide that researchers need airplanes in order to track them. Land is a very important resource that wolves need to survive and the more space they have to roam, ooh, the better they feel. <laughs> wolves live in family groups called packs. A wolf pack is made up of a mom wolf, hello, <laughs> and a dad wolf, also known as the alpha male and the alpha female, and all of their children. Wolf packs are known to be very organized with each of uh, Wolf having their own role in the social order. Wolf families have rules too, and everyone must follow them. After the alpha wolves, the next male and female in the pack's pecking order are known as the beta wolves, and on down to the lowest rung of the social ladder, <laughs> the omega wolf, who has the very important social role of instigating play ooh, and alleviating pack tensions. These families are very important. Wolves work together to hunt, share resources, and protect one another. Wolves mark their specific packs, territory with their scents or their howls at night. These vocalizations let other wolves know, hey, I am here. Uh -huh. Wolves are very good at communication. And although they have a reputation for being very aggressive, they actually work very hard to avoid problems. Oh, wolves have had a very difficult relationship with humans over the centuries as human actions have caused a decline in the wolf population for many decades. Before European influence, Wolves had a, a large range in the United States. However, by the 1800s, wolves were seen as threats to humans' food supply, and programs were started to hunt and track them. Oh, this resulted in such a decline that by 1974, when wolves were added to the endangered species list, there were only six wolves left in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. In the following years, the Detroit Zoological Society endorsed and supported wolf conservation, working with Michigan communities to navigate human understanding of and empathy for wolf populations. These recent changes in wolf protection allowed wolves to recover both in Michigan and across the country. However, even after four decades of wolf conservation work, there are still less than 700 wolves in 
the entire state. Wolves need our help in order to thrive and survive. <laughs> now you may be wondering, what do I do if I see a wolf? <laughs> and the truth is, you probably won't see a wolf because they are very elusive. Wolves use their eyes and ears to detect humans and other animals. A wolf in the wild would never approach a person. They usually stick to very remote areas to avoid and stay away from people and the territory of other wolves. People that get to see a wolf in their natural habitat are very lucky. And wolves also don't want to go places where they know other people are. Places like someone's house or farm or yard because they know from the sights, smells, and sounds around these spots that they are full of human activity. And a wolf's uh, shy nature means that they would rather hmm, be on their own than in the middle of all of that hubbub. <laughs> Wolves are very important to local landscapes because they maintain balance in their ecosystems. Their old dens are used for shelter for porcupines and, and other animals. Leftovers from their meals provide food for scavengers like eagles and ravens and bears. Wolves help pollinate by spreading tree and plant seeds that cling to their fur. <laughs> and their maintenance of populations like coyotes and deer and other animals keeps these species in check and allows small mammal and plant species to thrive. When humans remove wolves from this landscape, this delicate ecosystem is thrown off balance. You can continue to help wolves by visiting the Detroit Zoo, which supports wolf conservation and restoration. And while you're there, don't forget to visit the Detroit Zoo's Wolf Wilderness Habitat, where you can see an example of a typical wolf habitat. And don't get to look for Casca and Renner, the gray wolves in our care. <laughs> oh, thinking about their journeys reminds us that the life of every wolf is a unique adventure story touching all of those people who are lucky enough to see them. <laughs>